Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Beautiful conditions today as a long awaited warm up has hit the valley and in a big way again another look at these temperature increases over yesterday at this time. Grand Forks, you are 35 degrees warmer than yesterday and Fargo also better than 30 degrees warmer than yesterday at this time. Here is a look at those current conditions out at Hector 33 degrees on the thermometer. Wind is from the west southwest that's helped to bolster our temperatures today. So above freezing the January thaw well, it's going to last a few more minutes actually and then changes are in the offing. Here's the white line on Hutch's graphics. That's the freezing line. Anything to the left of that nice and warm 42 Bismarck Jamestown to Oaks. You are in the mid and upper 30s this hour. Look at Grand Forks 34 degrees there. Then we slide across the Red River into northwest Minnesota and mostly 20s but Hallock stuck in the teens right now. Wind chill indices not too bad, but in that cooler pool of air to the east of the Red River, we have some wind chills uh, above zero, but in those single digits. Here's what's happening. We do have this mild air over us as a warm front has made its way through, but this little weather wiggle up here is going to make its way along this boundary that's in place, and as it does so, it's going to bring some changes. And we have even more changes to talk about after that. We'll get to some uh, snow in the forecast here in just a bit, but right now for tonight, light winds and increasing clouds will make their way into the region as that weather wiggle works its way down. These dark colored areas here, that's fog. Now, there'll be a chance of some low clouds and fog going through uh, the overnight hours, so be aware of that if you're out driving. Remember those low beams and temperatures. Look at this. You can kind of see there's this boundary here and up here. Cooler air in northwest Minnesota. Temperatures to start your day near 10 degrees, but we'll be in the 20s to near 30 down here in the soupy air in the south. Wednesday will still be mild for many of us, and it will continue to be cloudy though, and not as warm as today. Now, as we go through the midday hour, pausing this at noon, we still have some cloudy conditions and some low clouds out to the west as another warm front tries to push its way towards us, okay? So temperatures will be warming out in our western counties where these low clouds will be making their way through along that boundary late. We're talking well after the dinner hour. There'll be a chance for a quick dash of snow. I don't anticipate this being a big deal, but it could make some slippery streets and again, low clouds, fog. Wind will be from the south, but not particularly strong, 15 to 20 miles per hour. So your Wednesday will be cloudy, gray, soupy, temperatures fairly steady and climbing only into the mid 20s to maybe briefly upper 20s as we go through the afternoon hours. Will we see a flake here in Fargo? Can't rule it out but more than likely we could have a better chance at some low clouds and fog. Uh, we've issued a first alert weather day for your Friday, and here's why. On Thursday night late, a system develops, moves out of Saskatchewan, and it screams through the region, bringing a chance for some wind, isobars close together, and snow. Wind starts out southeasterly, that's gonna feed moist air into the system, and it's going to have the potential to create some locally heavy snowfall in areas. Now, as we go through the overnight hours and into our Friday, Friday looks like we could see snow for the better part of the day. I'm gonna pause it here as it's exiting most of our viewing area into the very early hours of your Saturday morning. How much snow? Well, right now we'll just say that there could be six inches or more for many of us, but this thing is still changing tracks from model run to model run. We're gonna keep our eyes on it. It is a first alert weather day for your Friday. So 20s, Wednesday and Thursday, teens and snow all day Friday, and some of us could have quite a bit to shovel, Stacy. After that, we do have unsettled weather, a little bit more snow on a warm up on Sunday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, looks like we turn towards colder weather once again. At least there's a couple, you know, little okay days in there. Right? Yeah, we, we absolutely, if we get close to 30 this time of mm -hmm. year, you see at the bottom of the seven day, 18 is our average high. Wow, all right, thanks, Hutch. We'll take it. Despite the sunshine and positive temperatures in the valley today, extreme weather across the U.S. caused destruction and chaos this year. The U.S. staggered through one disaster after another in 2021, leaving 688 people dead in 20 different billion dollar weather and climate disasters that added up to at least $145 billion. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Last year's weather disasters included a record shattering heat wave, a devastating and deadly cold ice storm in Texas, a widespread windstorm, four hurricanes, deadly tornado outbreaks, mudslides, a persistent drought, and lots of wildfires. Last year was also the fourth warmest year on record in the U.S., and several cities, including Bismarck, had their hottest year on record.